Hi guys, it's Tommy and I'm back today looking at some more Modern Warfare 3 equipment and I thought I'd do a kind of spin-off on my Modern Warfare 3 weapon previews by looking at some equipment. Today we're going to be looking at the Bouncing Betty and the picture you can see on screen right now is actually the way the Bouncing Betty looks in Modern Warfare 3 so it's a pretty big upgrade from those of you who remember it from World at War. I should probably point out that this is actually going to be in the lethal category, meaning that you're going to have to choose between this and frag grenades and semtex grenades like it was in Modern Warfare 2 and it's not technically going to be in the equipment category with stuff like the trophy system which I covered last week. It is of course a mine, it's known by many as the S-Mine. Its country of origin is actually Germany and it was used predominantly in World War II. It was produced ever since 1935 and was first seen in the Call of Duty franchise in Call of Duty 3. I think it was just in the single player in Call of Duty 3, however it did appear in multiplayer and World at War and I'm also led to believe that it appeared in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 2 in single player as well. In Modern Warfare 3 this is going to be unlocked at level 37 so I thought I'd also give some little background about how this actually works. So basically in real life when these are actually triggered so when someone comes into the proximity they actually launch into the air and detonate at about three foot in the air hence why it's called the bouncing betty it's for this reason that if you actually go prone in real life when one needs to set off you can actually escape the explosion and also why in the game that is also possible so if you actually go prone while this gets set off and interestingly enough in the game you can actually go prone and crawl past these without setting them off so yeah it's pretty interesting i've got a quick clip here of how it actually works in the game